just like a teacher told me, the Linux is not a presentation operating system. Sorry. I expected that had a computer here. Hello, uh, my name is Everton Foscarini. Uh, I'm presenting here Virtual Monster Plus Nginx. Uh, and had a, I have an update no, of the title, uh, hosting more than 250 prone sites, and f now from five different prone backends, uh, more than 500 Apache and 200 ASP sites in a single host name. Who am I? I am a uh, sysadmin in a university, works. Uh, work mainly and email, the email server, the record server, webmail server, uh, a lot with uh, web also, and the most work is in virtualization. What is URGS? URGS is the biggest federal university in the south of Brazil, established in 1934, and has internet presence since 1990. This is an uh, archive, the last, the oldest archive in the archive.org from 1997. Um, then we have a major restylization in 2004 that lasted until 2011. And this, the new, in, in 2011, the site that is uh, available to now. Why this? all these sites because the university has a lot of history in the internet. We have hundreds of subsites, the department sites, the main site is a subsite of the main domain. We have the IT department, the e-learning, the computer science, the medicine, uh, all the main uh, departments and laboratories and libraries, all that, all, all have subsites. And many URLs have more than 20 years, so legacy matters here. We have some challenges in the hosting service in, in 2010 um, because we have silos, disconnected ho hosts. Uh, the main site, www, was Windows and IIS. The second, Linux with Apache, and the New in 2009, uh, we, start, we started using Plone 3 uh, and have a lot of others, sub, uh, different host names, WW2, WW3, WW4. Uh, I think that 11 is the last one that we have. And mixed types of content, mixed, mixed types of servers in, in a lot of different administrators. <sighs> and all the websites want to have a www URL uh, because it's uh, beautier, uh, cooler to have a www address, not a www23, as you get to, to, to put in documents, in, in material. And the IIS uh, had hundreds of rejects, just redirecting to the WW6, WW, to the paginas. And when a site was migrating to another Suplone, we have one more uh, redirect to, to configure. The other problem that we had was that Plone 3 had multiple host names. The first configuration, the Nginx, has had uh, map mapping of the host names, from the host names to the subsite. So uh, the same site had three addresses, CPD, the IT department, WWWCPD, and 
pages, páginas do slash cpd. And we have also the redirect from www.urswear slash cpd to the páginas slash cpd. So we had at least 40 sites with this configuration, the same content, three different URLs to Google to, to index, and Vernish had to cache for three times the same object. Other challenge, uh, we had to use, start to use Implant 4. We have uh, s some problems of performance with Implant 3, and the problem to upgrade was that we have some spurious products that didn't behave correctly and could not uh, upgrade the site to Plan 4. So what we sh should do, create a new host, our Paginas 4. We, ha we ha also had to upgrade the Linux server. It was a Debian 4, uh, very old, uh, full of uh, broken sites and uh, holes. Debian 4, it wasn't uh, supported anymore. But we could not upgrade, just upgrade because uh, we, we could, can break sites. We, we had PHP 4 and PHP 5, and the users uh, didn't upgrade the, the, their, co their code to use PHP 4. And we had more than 300 sites to test uh, in an upgrade. So should we create another new host? And uh, in, the, in the end of 2011, we have to, to change the site, or migrate to Plony. But we still had more than 300 sites using the Windows server that has the www address. So we could have three possible solutions. Or we create a new site, new URL for Plony, and create just one red 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 redirect. We can steal the address from the Windows Server and rename the Windows Server, and we have 300 redirects to configure. Or we could create a reverse proxy, the only sane solution, and clean up all, the, all this mess. So that was what we have made. Uh, I will share the presentation later. This is the current status. We'll talk about, about this later. I made a first try in 2010 just uh, because I wanted to have a reverse proxy in front of the Windows Server, just to take it, take it out of the front of the, the page so I can have some redirects, some uh, different content. But I made a single host. I, have a, I had a single point of failure. Uh, Apache had problems. It was just, a, just Apache, without modules, without PHP, had some problems with the, with the medium load. It was in the mid, uh, it wasn't in the in the SATs, the vestibular, that the, the time that we had more than 40,000 visitors. It was a normal day, and. Uh, the users used uh, the FTP connecting to www. So I, ha I have to add uh, FTP port redirection just to don't upset the users. So I keep for once one week and must in had to uh, roll back. Uh, a second try it was made in 2011 because we have to migrate the site. So. I made, this time I made, made right, using Nginx uh, in a load balance, it's load balance since the beginning, to have mainly uh, fault tolerant, tolerance, had a good performance, and the FTP, FTP users must use the, the correct DNS server. They spent uh, six months af after um, changing the DNS, the users are still calling to know where was the server. So they were uh, obliged to use the correct, correct server. So the main goals of the reverse proxy for the hosting part, not for the uh, main website, is it was that any hosted site should must have the www slash site uh, address. So, the sites 
pull the, the sites must be either in either in, either in IIS, Apache, Plony 3, Plony 4, WordPress, any backend should be supported. Uh, and the website can migrate between hosting servers because uh, they don't have to make a redirect. Uh, the content migration, I don't care. Uh, the, the users want to have the address, so the address are theirs. So we can migrate from one backend to the other without problems. This, is, this was the first production setup with the reverse proxy uh, and the IIS, Apache, and Plone4. Uh, I had three servers, not just one reverse proxy, one just, just uh, to, to make an example here. Uh, and we had a Plone4 uh, supersized infrastructure. Because of the problems of Plone3 uh, installation, we, we were very cautious, created two uh, two varnish servers separated. The Plone Cache servers it, uh, had just varnish to have uh, fault tolerance, and two uh, two servers with clients, each one with two two clients. And this L server it was in a, a, a most most uh, conf, 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 a better machine uh, with storage. Uh, Trying to the, the ZODB wasn't fault tolerant, but uh, it was a drawback because the uh, ZODB replication it wasn't uh, free software in 2011. So the configuration in Nginx it was made into parts. I created a location uh, for the backends here in the down. Uh, each backend has his location with an um, at in the beginning, and to define to each site in which location it should uh, find, look, find, uh, uh, make the request, I have the at plony at the end of the try files. So I have a manutenção maintenance page if I want to. To remove the plony from the website, I can just create this HTML, and the uh, Nginx will provide this page, just saying that the plony is in maintenance. I had uh, the setup to have a simple configuration from, uh, for the backends, but the talk was about vir virtual monster, virtual host monster. Uh, VHM is, is used to generate HTML according to the rules in the URL. What means he, this? I can have, uh, this is made in var varnish. I can say if the site is public, use the www.urgs. If the site is to management, use the plon.urgs. And the content is the same, but uh, it, it is generated according to the URL. This is a request directly to the, the client, uh, where I can show the virtual host base and the fake test URL. So the generated HTML has the fake test URL as the host name, port one. Totally, totally, totally fake, but this shows that uh, Plony generates the content according to the configuration in the VHM, not in the requested host name from the web browser. So, uh, coming back to the hosting now. Uh, the Vernish was in the middle of the, 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 the field, but I uh, now move it to inside the Plony machines, so we can have a granular configuration. Uh, the Plony works. The main, main website has a more uh, aggressive policy for for cache, and the others have different. So the main website uh, has the content managed by the public relations, uh, mainly news and events. Uh, uses memcache and web service. Uh, the web service, the web service, 
takes from the internet, from the institutional database, uh, some configurations, some uh, list of teachers, prof professors, list of courses, and the, the, this, the, the, this, data, this data is stored in the main cache to alleviate the server. And we have a talk about it today, uh, about the site. PlaniPOS is a kind of internet for several, several graduate schools using the same configuration. We have the Plony hosting, hospedaging. Uh, generic hosting is where we have the more than 250 sites. Uh, we have a restricted product, product collection, selection just to don't have problems with prob products. We have a talk about this tomorrow. And we had some migration from Plon3, Plon Paginas and Paginas2, because they were migrated in different types, and have different versions. And we have the new Apache, Apache server, whose migration was made slowly, site by site, and the old IIS, and uh, now a WordPress. How do we configure Nginx to deal with multiple backends? I have multiple locations. I have more than 10 locations uh, connecting to backends, just like before. So how do I say to a website, in this example, LabSolus, which location use? It should use the location Colossus, is the Linux Apache. Uh, the other site, Progesp, this is the human resources, uh, uses the migration, páginas, the migration, and here I make the first part of the VHM configuration, where I say here, after VH is the final URL. This is, uh, I'll talk about this later. But this kind of configuration for each one of the 800 sites is a very bit, it's a bit complex. So we created a kind of reverse proxy config file where I can say for each URL in which backend it is hosted. And we have a script that make uh, the, generate the Nginx configurations and should just reload the Nginx, the configuration is done. A new site, so it's just two lines, one line. The final touch in the hosting plony, we had multiple datafs, datafs. So we can segment the department, the sites by type, departments, laboratories, libraries. Look, there's a good idea in the beginning. So we can have separate partitions, can enforce quota, uh, have smaller backups, less the BPACs because some sites are less dynamic. And maybe it was better before blob storage because blob storage separated all the big files from the DTFS. And we had a final drawback. The ZODB mount path must be in the URL. So we had to redirect again. But VHM comes to save the day. And just like I said, the VH, VH uh, configuration says that this is the URL, CPD. Doesn't matter in which mount point or even if this name of the site was other, doesn't, doesn't matter. The, v, the VHM, VHM can create the correct HTML. So we have here the hospedaging uh, located in the mount point unidade, unidade with the VHCPD, the generated HTML has just the CPD uh, uh, subsite. Sub Conclusions, uh, we have success in forcing a single public host name and we create a Nginx project server just to handle old virtual hosts. So the, this site has uh, 40, 50 virtual hosts just redirecting. And we made a policy. Every site should have the www.tours.br address. And these are the, number, these are the numbers of the sites still now, always growing. The reverse proxy configuration file make it manageable. 
uh, create all the that redirects for each site would be a pain, painful. And VHM gives Tuplone a great flexibility. We can rename a site. We have already made it. Uh, uh, a department changed his name. We just had to create uh, a new line and say, now you should use the other name. Uh, this, guy, this VHM can hide one point. Uh, I don't remember. And with which VHM we can create a different URL, in this case, plone.tools.br, that could have been uh, accessible just inside from the university to uh, don't enable uh, the authenticated pages to be available outside. So now we can migrate backends, maintain the same URL, and I think that I don't have time to questions. You have my contact here. If you want to make a question, uh, I will uh, pu publish the link for the slides here later. And thank you. Thank